Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we got kicked out. Okay, so I'm making this video because it's just a fucking crazy thing that happened and it just does not seem real at all. But it happened. Like what? So a few days ago I really wanted to go to their concert, but I didn't know too many of the songs, but the songs I did know I loved. So I'm like, mm, fuck it, let's go. So it's like who do I go with? Do I go alone or do I go with someone? My friend Charlie, she follows them on Instagram, so I ask her, oh, do you want to come? She was like, yeah, I'll come. And then we were talking about it at lunch. And then Sienna was like, oh, yeah, I'll come as well. This was like two days before the concert, a day before. So we try and find really cheap tickets on like Facebook. So I found this girl. She's selling tickets for $70 each, general admission tickets, $70 each, which is so good because all the other tickets were like $120, $100. And she's like, I'm like, okay, I'll buy three. So I'm texting her. I put up the receipts. She seems super chill. I text her. I send the money, $210, may I say. And then she just like doesn't really respond. I'm getting suspicious at this point. Turns out she scammed us. Well. But during this whole time, I was texting this other girl on Facebook. She's like a mum, a Facebook mum. Her name was Jane. She was super chill. She's like giving me advice on like how not to get scammed and everything. I tell her how I might have got scammed. And she's like, oh, my brother's a cop. I'll probably, she, he'll probably help you out if you did get scammed. So that made me feel a little bit better. And then because I'm, we got scammed, I called A and Z. And I'm like asking them if I can get my money back. And I literally have a breakdown on the phone. I'm like on the verge of crying. I'm holding back the tears. But the dude on the phone was super nice. But he was like, I'm brutally honest. You're not going to get your money back. He was like British. I opened the group chat. We're just like talking about how we got scammed and how it's like kind of funny. So then I DM gang of youths. Like a really sarcastic story. To my surprise, they fucking reply. I'm shaking at this point. Like I actually, I was shaking. Don't know why. And then... Um, they told me to email this dude. I emailed him pretty chill. I wasn't, I had kind of low hopes. Like, I didn't really think he'd respond. And if he did, I thought he was like, oh, sorry, we can't help you. You guys got scanned and it wasn't in our, it wasn't our fault. So sorry. Nope. We fucking get tickets. He's like, oh, I'll get, I'll get you guys three general mission tickets. But then I was like, I was super excited. I texted the group chat and everything. But then I was like, wait, are these actually free or do we have to pay for them? Like, did he mean he would give us three free tickets or he would just reserve three tickets and then we have to pay? We get to the arena. We're all a little bit suspicious about it. Like we did not want to get our hopes up in case we get disappointed. Go to the box office and I ask the girl in there, oh, I've got tickets reserved under my name. She's like, what's your name? Tell her my name, obviously. And then she's like searching for her folder. Took her a hot minute to find them. I got really scared that they weren't actually there. But they were. And she didn't ask me to pay. And then we just walked off with the little envelope that had my name on it. Screaming. I was jumping up and down. So excited. Um, we opened the thing. Three tickets. Three purple wristbands. And a little map of the stadium. So we thought the purple wristbands were like the general admission wristbands. So then we put them on. And then we get our tickets and then we someone gets out the map it wasn't me i thought the map was just off the stadium nope it said gang of youths after show and it said like you've, you've been invited to the after show have a drink with us and the map was like telling us where to meet thank god we read that these are the wristbands this is the general mission wristband and then this is the after show wristband we go to the concert and I was genuinely surprised that like, first of all, it was not squishy. Like the crowd was so chill. And second of all, there was not that many people there. We were basically near the front, but not really. We were like in the front section, but we're like to the side. Show starts, the opening act finishes, show starts. We move more to the front a little bit more. And the show was good. But the first half of the show, I was kind of disappointed because I could not hear shit. Like, I could not hear Dave sing at all. I don't know if it's because... It was either because he... Sienna said he, like, mutters sometimes because he forgets he's on stage. I don't think it was that, though. I think it was because either the sound engineer, sound design was, like, kind of bad. Which is kind of unlikely because it's Rod Labour Arena. Or it was because we were, like, kind of near the front to the side. So then, like, the speakers weren't pointing towards us. Or, like, we were too close to the speakers or something. 
because we couldn't really hear much and i was really sad because i was like my some of my favorite songs and i could barely hear anything show finishes everyone's walking off and we go to the meeting spot for the after show we realize everyone fucking there is friends or family and we're like mm, a bit out of place as well as everyone being like 25 up like mostly like 25 30 year olds we go in it's like this gate it's like this curtain in the door security lets us in and this is a sign that says gang of youths after show we're like oh la la we walk down the hall we enter this room it's just like a normal room a ping pong table in the middle drinks like a little bar to the side pretty chill everyone seemed pretty chill again everyone was quite old and then we we see this first dude. I'm like, oh, hey, do you know this guy called Chris? Because he let us in. He's like, oh, sorry, Chris is not here yet. He's like a skinny dude wearing a beanie. And then he's like, oh, sorry, i got to make a phone call. We talked to this other dude. He's called Sam. He was really cool. He was the gang of youth, gang of youths booking agent. So I was like that, where he books all the shows. We were talking to him about, like, how he got his job and, like, I, was, I wanted to know about like photography and it's like oh if you want to be a photographer just like email a bunch of people someone will reply blah 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 he seemed really cool he was really cool and then i find this girl i see this girl across the room she had the penny lane jacket on i was like i need to talk to her i need to talk to her we talked to her again so fucking nice we talked about i told her about our story how we got scammed i told her about she said she was an actor um fucking cool girl she is so cool okay so from across the room we see this dude in a red beanie who's really skinny and we're like that's chris so she got to him and say hi and thank you we got to him we're like we're the three girls that you let in and he's like oh yeah what are you guys doing in here it's like yeah we got the we got these like purple wristbands for the after show it's like yeah i didn't give you those like what he was like really confused i was like we were just like talking to him and like the conversation's kind of dead and then we just like walk off. We didn't have anyone to talk to, but like I wanted to talk to people to make like some connections. Be like, here's my contact. I don't know what I fucking would have done with those. But Chris comes up to the comes up to us the next minute. He's like, sorry girls, but you got you gotta you gotta go. Get kicked out of the after show. But you know what? We didn't really belong, so and it was friends or family. We could have been extreme fans and serial killers, so I get it. But it was fucking fun. On our way out, there was fucking no one there. It was abandoned. We didn't know our way out. We were just walking around. And then we saw, like, the dressing rooms and everything. Super fucking cool. And then we find a way out. I kind of wish we just roamed around. Because, like, what would have they done? Kicked us out. We already got kicked out. So. And then we left. That is the study. Oh. One more thing to sorry. Today I went to get my film developed that I took on the night, and guess what? When I opened my bank account to see how much money I had to like get my film developed, we got our two hundred and ten dollars back from the scammer. This whole fucking experience was free. What the fuck? Full stop. And here are some concert concert videos that Sienna and Charlie took on their phones. That I tried to make look pretty, but not that pretty.